Hi everybody, Lorraine and I are getting ready to go on our three day retreat before we get our habits, our clothing on Sunday. So make sure you check it out at five o'clock on Sunday the 6th of September. You will see us go from this to the really pretty outfit that Sister Lucy wears, her habit with her nice white veil. Pasha Lindsay is almost over. And I think what I have loved most about being a postulant is praying in community. I think, although I went to Mass and Adoration every day um, for a few years before I entered, it's different when you pray the office together in a community than it is when you pray it by yourself. Although, yes, you've always got the saints and you're with the Lord, but it's just it's so nice. And I think that's what I really enjoy is being able to pray the office every day, five times a day with the community. What I least liked about postulancy, was that the same question? Oh, um, oh, probably missing Liverpool win the Premier League. That was a big, oh, hard thing. Although I did get to see it last month, only like a month or so too late. But yes, that's probably the hardest thing about postulancy. I'm possibly getting out of bed early. Hmm, it's pretty close. Noreen? Um, my favourite thing about postulancy actually was very similar to Kira's, uh, <laughs> because in the first year you get to know the, what are known as the four pillars of Dominican life. So uh, prayer, community, the apostolate, sorry, sacred study and the apostolate. Um, and just kind of getting more of a sense of those during, as, as the year progressed and how they kind of supported each other or led into each other. Like prayer helps you to live community life better. Uh, being accepted and loved by the community flows into your prayer life. The same with sacred study and apostolate. Um, coming to apostolate is all about sharing the fruits of your contemplations, sharing your prayer life and your, your study life and the life within the community. So for me, it was just seeing how the four things, the four pillars came together um, during that first year. Hardest part, definitely missing family and friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really tough. But um, not watching Man United lose. No, sadly. That's for the novitiate, which I won't see because we don't have the internet. It's <laughs> <laughs> been 30 years waiting to say that to a Man United fan. So, moving swiftly on, my favourite part, or what I'm looking forward to most about the novitiate, is spending more time in discernment, actually, spending more time with the Lord. We kind of take a little step back from apostolate for a while. Um, which is sad in one way because I just mm. love the apostles, but but it's so that you can spend time with the Lord and spend time in prayer and see really is this where God is calling you to? Yeah. What about you? Well, you stole my answer, Aww. but it's good we have the same answer. <laughs> but I think what I'm really loving, looking forward to, is getting up on Monday morning and putting on my habit and my veil because I've always wanted to wear a white dress and a veil, and I get to wear it for two years. And then I get to wear one with a black wheel, but it's still a pretty bridal dress. So I'm really happy and excited to be able to wear the habit. And I can't wait to do my first swoosh, do a big spin round and let it all go out and the rosy clanking too. I'm really excited. Hopefully you can get it on camera, sister. Yeah, Definitely. good. One of the things I'm not looking forward to mm -hmm. about the novitiate is I'm on ringing the bells first month. So <laughs> that I means getting up get at 5.40, Three-ish <laughs> <laughs> to ring the bells for the sister who get up, the sisters who all get up at 5.45 and it's my yeah. responsibility to make sure that they get up. I won't complain if you forget. Well, I think the other sisters might. Yeah. <laughs> oh, see, well, I have more things to put on and like yeah. trying to remember what order it goes in. Exactly. Um, yeah, that could be fun. So interesting times yeah. ahead. Oh, advice for discerners. That's a good idea. I think the... I think the most important thing is to just go for it. I think if you think that the Lord might be calling you, forget about what your friends might say or what the people you work with might say. If you even remotely think the Lord might call, be calling you, then actually just lift the phone or drop an email to the vocations director and say, here's what's on my heart. Can you help me talk through this? And they will, you know, whether it's the commu a community that you're thinking of discerning with, if you're at the very early stages and you're not really sure where to look, find a good vocations director, our sister Catherine's great, and just say, look, I think I'm discerning that God, that God might be calling me to religious life. And they will help you and talk to you and you know, point you in the right direction, things like that, give you good books to read. And I think that initial fear of, I'm not sure if, you don't have to know right now. And I think that's something that people, when they start to certainly need to know, is that you don't need to know all the answers. If the Lord is really calling you to religious life, 
he will give you all the answers most likely when you're not expecting the answers. Like, I visited other communities and God led me towards the Dominicans while visiting other communities not even thinking about Dominicans. So he will provide the answers. But I would say just, just go for it. What about you? Uh, we're already practicing one heart and mind because that was my thought <laughs> as well. Except I was going to use a certain um, phrase that's coined by a certain brand. Just do it. Just do it. You'll only get to know whether you're being called to a particular way of life or not by living the life. Yeah. And that's what that's what formation's about. That's why you spend six years before you make a final commitment to someplace. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just yeah. do it. It's just like you wouldn't know if you were if you were going to get married to someone unless you spent time with them. So get to know them. Get to know us. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, oh. there is the, you know, the interesting little mystery of the names. Ooh. We are sworn to secrecy, aren't we, Kira? We're sworn to secrecy. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think anyone will guess my name. I don't think anybody will guess your name. I don't think anybody will ever guess my name. No. Will they guess yours? I'm not sure. Hmm. You'll have Interesting. To see. Maybe you could guess what our names might yeah. be, and Sister Catherine can keep track of it over the next three days, and then when we come out of retreat on Saturday morning, she can show us all the suggestions. Because I know I got it wrong last year. I was convinced Sister Lucy was going to be St. Therese, so or Sister I. Therese. Yeah. I was absolutely convinced <laughs> that there was no other thing. Although, in fairness, I was going to kill her if she chose Sister Mary Magdalene, because I used to always want that name. Until I ended a religious life and God told me that's definitely not the name you want. She's still my friend. But yeah. Mm. 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 So please do pray for us over the next uh, couple of days. Check us out on Church TV Services. 5 p.m. Sunday evening, our clothing ceremony takes place during evening prayer. Mm. So you'll be able to see everything there. And Sister Catherine, who's behind the screen at the moment, kindly um, said she would take some photos and maybe post a little video on our social media pages for those who can't see us oh, up close and personal. And I have an idea. If you're not sure what's going to happen, check our old videos. Sister Karina's clothing video is on our Facebook page and it is amazing. You might need <laughs> tissues though. It is yes, so it nice. Is the music to go with it is beautiful. But yeah, we shall see you on Sunday evening. We'll be the ones nice and white. <laughs> God Bye. bless. <laughs>